The first rule of providing first aid is to ensure the safety of the first responders. Before approaching your pet in an emergency, ensure the environment is safe and that you feel comfortable approaching your pet. The most likely reason for a first responder to become injured is from a bite or a scratch from an animal. Even the most well-behaved animal may become aggressive if she's in pain or if she's afraid. Fortunately, the risk of transmitting infectious diseases from your pet to you is very low. Signs that a pet may become aggressive include growling or baring the teeth, the fur along the spine or the shoulders standing up, cowering or moving away from you, potentially urinating or lip smacking. If you see any of these signs or any other signs as this list is not exhaustive, do not approach the animal until you can get help or the animal calms down. If you do feel that you're comfortable approaching your pet, and if she's not already wearing a gentle leader like Annabelle is, you can try to use a slip lead. Take the loop of the slip lead and pass it over her nose and mouth, behind her neck, and pull it snug behind her ears. Before transporting an animal that's in pain, it's important to try to place a muzzle. You wanna get a muzzle and pass it over your dog's nose and clasp it in the back behind her ears. If you don't have a muzzle, or the muzzle you have is not of the appropriate size, you can use a strip of gauze or other soft material. Make a loop with the material, and then pass it over your dog's snout, pulling it snug. Cross it under her chin, and tie it in a bow behind her ears, making sure you can remove it easily if needed. If your dog becomes more agitated or aggressive with the muzzle, it's best to skip this step and try to transport her without the muzzle. In small dogs, you can try to use a towel. Cover her head with a towel and wrap your arms around her to restrain her so that she can't bite or scratch at you. And in some cases, in small animals, you can grab the skin behind their neck, that loose scruff, and that sometimes will help prevent them from turning to bite or scratch at you. Again, it's always important to remember that if it's not safe to approach the animal, don't do so until you can get help or the animal calms down.